Hello, Washington. I am Corey with the Washington Civil Rights Association. As most of you already know, the magazine ban, Senate Bill 5078, passed out of the Senate earlier in the week. Uh, we still have time to make our voices heard, though, this coming Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. The House Civil Rights and Judiciary Public Hearing uh, sign-in sheet is available now. Links to that are down below. All you have to do is select the Civil Rights and Judiciary Committee, select the meeting for 2-16-22 at 10 a.m., uh, click on ESSB 5078, Large Capacity Magazines, uh, choose the link that says, I would like my position noted for the legislative record, mark your position as con, fill out the rest of the form, and hit submit. Uh, links to the sign-in page are down below. Make sure that your voice is heard. Now, moving on, there has been a lot of conversation about what the mag ban is, what it isn't, and there's a lot of conflicting information out there. So let, let's set the record straight. A large capacity magazine has been defined as an ammunition feeding device with the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds. That's right, 10 round limit, not 15, not 17, not 30. Uh, this also includes parts and parts kits for your magazines. Uh, we do get to keep our existing mags. Uh, we can take them in and out of the state with us, and we're not restricted in our continued usage of them. Uh, we cannot transfer them to anyone, though. There are no provisions that exist that allow a spouse, domestic partner, family member to take possession of your magazines um, if your spouse moves your range bag with uh, the mags in it. They've committed a crime. There's no provisions for generational transfers. When someone passes away, there are no provisions for a temporary transfer in the event of a self-defense situation that essentially nullifies the transfer exemption in the uh, uh, in this case uh, that kind of came to play in revisions of 594. There are no provisions for transfers while at the range. Um, so if a friend helps unload your vehicle or they pick up your magazine by mistake, a crime has been committed. There's also no provisions for uh, the temporary transfers if you are um, contemplating self-harm. Um, and there, there's been transfer exemptions for that, uh, for transferring firearms, but there's not that doesn't exist for the magazines. The There are no provisions for repairing your magazine as parts and parts kits are banned as part of the bill. Even if that repair were to be done by a gun shop, can't happen. So if you break your floor plate, your spring, one of your springs wear out, your follower becomes damaged, etc., there's no way to repair what you already own without committing a crime. And if you're planning to move to the state, you will not be allowed to bring your magazines with you. Doing so counts as importation and there's no exemptions for military personnel either who get stationed in the state. Um, if this makes it through the House as written, the effective date is currently July 1st of 2022. Links to the uh, bill, the full text of the bill, are down below. As stated before, get signed into the public hearing to make your position known. Write and call the members of the, uh, the Civil Rights and Judiciary Committee urging opposition to the bill. If you are going out to your local gun shop or range prior to the 16th, print a copy of the PDF that's linked below and take it with you so they can put it on their counter. Let's spread the word far and wide throughout this state. And let's get people to show up. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you for everything each and every one of you does to help your fellow citizens protect their right to keep and bear arms. Have a great weekend.